I love great ideas, especially ideas where I can maybe take something that I have that I use for another purpose and reuse it to help solve a problem. Or maybe there's a tip or trick that helped me with something I already have in my home. Either way, I love these videos, I love these ideas, and I wanna share them with you. If these prompt any ideas that you think are interesting, I would love to hear them all of your clever ideas down in the comments below because I genuinely love reading your comments and learning so much from the viewers of this channel. The first problem that I have a solution for is regarding your trash bag in your trash can. Have you ever had where you put in a new trash bag in your trash can, there seems to be some air stuck between the bag and the can, you go to throw something kind of messy away and it's heavy and it flops in there, the bag comes loose and things are everywhere. Well, these little binder clips that you use, you know, in an office setting or to put papers together, no kidding though, when I first saw these, I don't remember if it was sometime in the 90s or whenever these things came out, it had to have been, but I was a huge Barbie lover in my eight, in the 80s and 90s, and I thought this would make the perfect little, you know, Barbie accessory purse. Anywho, you can take these little binder clips, all you do is you put them on the edge of the trash can, and that way it's going to keep it secure. It's something you can just clip right back on, it doesn't take a lot of time, and it's gonna keep you from having that mess. Number two, if you know me, you know I do not like to iron clothing. I do not like getting the ironing board out, getting the iron out, spraying the shirt or whatever I'm ironing, pulling it tight, making sure I don't create another wrinkle. That is a lot of wasted time for me, so I tend to stay away from things that have to be ironed. But sometimes there are small little ironing jobs that need to be done. For instance, I have a jean jacket and the little pocket, the, the top of the pocket will crinkle up after a dry and it's just sticking up, which is not really cute. Well, one day I thought I was actually straightening my hair. <laughs> And at the same time, I thought, oh, wait a minute, this thing is pretty darn hot. I used this to straighten out the pocket. Another time I had a shirt that every time I washed it, the back tail of the shirt would wrinkle up, you know, where the seam is. And I thought, again, I'm not getting out the iron. So I took this, I lowered the heat setting, and I just swiped it right across that shirt. It got rid of the issue with needing an iron. It no longer flipped up. So using a straightening iron in a pinch with some of these small items is awesome. This is one that I've had, it's a Numi, N-U-M-E. I have no idea where we got it, I just know that I've had this for about a decade now and it has lasted. This is a great straightening iron for my hair and a great iron for clothing in a pinch. Number three is a great hack to help keep your bed sheets organized. Sometimes when you start stacking these things up, maybe you have a linen closet, maybe they're in your regular closet or wherever you put them, they can start falling all over each other because we know how hard it is to even fold up the fitted sheet that goes on your bed. Well, a great way to keep these things organized is to take your sheet set, take one of the pillowcases that goes along with it, and then just slip the fitted sheet, any other pillowcases, and the flat sheet in the pillowcase. At that point, once you have it in there, you just fold it up and it's all in one spot. You can then take your stacked up sets of sheets, one on top of the other, they're contained, you're gonna have all the pillowcases that go with each sheet set, always with their friends, and your organized closet stays nice and neat. Number four is a way to freshen up stinky shoes. If you happen to have extra fabric lying around, take a square of that fabric, pour a little bit of baking soda in it, and then use a string to tie it up. Then you're gonna take this little packet of baking soda and put it in your shoe. It will help absorb those odors. You just keep it in your closet. Hopefully it will help other friendly shoes lose their stink too but a great way to help remove the stink and keep your shoes fresher. Number five is something that can help keep your house cooler and warmer, and it is regarding your ceiling fan. Ceiling fans aren't just used to keep a house cool. Yes, they're great for that. We have ceiling fans in our bedrooms and in our living room. We absolutely love them, 
but there's also a switch that's usually on the side of the base of the fan. Now I'm sure not all of them have this, but if yours is newer, it probably does. Check and see if it has that switch. When you click on that switch, it will turn the fan in the opposite direction. Now what this does, I found a little diagram on Hunter, uh, web, Hunter's website, Hunter Fan, if you've ever heard of them. They make great ceiling fans. It's actually who we have ceiling fans with because they're really great quality. But it shows that when it goes in a certain direction, it helps push that hot air during the winter back down towards the ground when it usually likes to rise up. Now, obviously during the summertime, it pulls the cool air down if turned in the other direction. So check out your ceiling fan and as the season changes, have this as one of the things that you always check on to make sure you do and utilize those ceiling fans in the winter to help push that hot air down. Number six is a quick way to get deodorant stains off of your clothing. Perhaps you just put on your clothes, you've got to get out the door quickly to an appointment or to work, and you notice that you've got a smear of deodorant somewhere, especially if you have darker colors on, it's really gonna show. So how do you get that off quickly? Well, a trick is to use a dryer sheet. You can quickly run that dryer sheet over that deodorant and somehow it does something with pulling it out of the fabric. In the past, I've just tried to use a wet towel to try to wipe it off and then I'll walk out the door and I have this wet spot wherever the stain was. This works so much better and it gets most of the deodorant stains off of your clothes. Number seven is a great trick if you have a garage and you actually park a car in your garage. And the trick here is to hang a tennis ball from a string from the ceiling of your garage so that it hits your windshield as soon as it's fully parked into your garage. This helps you know when you're just in enough that you're not gonna hit whatever's in front of you and you're not gonna leave too much of the tail end of your vehicle out where the garage door is going to hit it. In order to do this, it's really simple. Park your car properly, perhaps with somebody's assistance to make sure you get the distance right. Then you're going to take a tennis ball, in this case we use smaller tennis balls, and a length of string. You're going to attach the length of string to the top of the garage and you're going to extend the ball till it hits about the middle of the windshield, middle in width and middle in length. And that way you are gonna, as soon as you pull in, all you do is you wait when you pull in with your car till it hits just about and you see the, the ball just bounce a little. This is a great way to make sure you don't end up bumping the car around in the front or in the back and causing more damage as we know, causing damage with your vehicle or with a garage door is pretty expensive. So I think investing in a couple of tennis balls and a string is a great idea. Number eight is a use for an item that is completely different from what it was originally intended for. This item can be used in several ways around your house, and it is a pool noodle. Specifically, I like this thing. You cut it lengthwise and it opens up and it creates a great buffer or guard. Have you ever experienced where you want to have a room with the door not completely shut, but just cracked a little bit, but then whenever the draft from the air conditioning or the heat comes on, it slams that door and it scares the mess out of you. Well, all you have to do is cut just a little one of these, slip it on the edge of the door and it's gonna keep it cracked open as you wanted and it's gonna keep it also from slamming. You can also use these on other pieces of furniture to help little ones from bumping into them. And if they do bump into them, it's definitely not going to be as bad as if they hit the corner of a sharp piece of furniture. You know, that real, that edge of that wood, when they hit it, creates that not fun bruise. I've, as a child, hit furniture, you know, being clumsy. I'm a clumsy person often. And these things are great because you can put them on the corner, on the edges, and it will definitely help during that time when those little ones are a little extra clumsy. Number nine is to help you get the lids off jars that you just can't seem to get open. This is super simple. What you do with a jar, if you can't seem to get it open, is you lightly tap it on a, a table or counter on all four edges, just lightly, not too, too hard. And what this does is it helps the air break the seal on the jar so that you can more easily open it. Try that out the next time you've got a jar that you can't open. Now it's your turn. Don't forget to let me know what your favorite home hack is that can help me and other people who are watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead and I will see you for another video next Sunday.